Why Grey's Anatomy Season 20's new romantic twist is so controversial. Warning. This article contains spoilers for Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9. Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9 introduced a new surprising romantic twist that led to a social media outcry from viewers who don't approve of the direction two characters' storylines are heading. With just one episode left in Season 20 and Grey's Anatomy Season 21, on the way many questions and plot twists were introduced in Season 20 Episode 9 that need resolving or continuation. While some of these shocking storylines were built up throughout the season another felt like it came out of left field for many loyal viewers. Grey's Anatomy Season 20 is already setting up exits for important main characters. It has been confirmed that two actors are leaving the series in the upcoming Season 21. Grey's Anatomy is also facing reduced roles for cast members next season. This is keeping many viewers on their toes eager to find out who won't be returning in major roles for future Grey's Anatomy episodes. Due to this many viewers are already on edge and Grey's Anatomy season 20 episode 9 didn't do the series any favors with one poor choice made. From the moment the trailer was released for season 20 Grey's Anatomy has been teasing its new great couple. Though Monica hooked up with Winston in Grey's Anatomy season 20 episode 9 they were not the couple that was being teased. Rather Monica and Amelia have been flirting with each other since Monica was first introduced as the new pediatric attending surgeon in season 20 episode 5. Many viewers eagerly awaited the moment their teasing flirtation would finally turn into actual romance. They thought they'd finally gotten their wish when Amelia asked Monica out in Grey's Anatomy season 20 episode 8. Abby shared a post about the scene on X claiming she was losing her mind and many others felt the same way. Unfortunately Monica told Amelia she was going through a messy divorce with her wife who was still in Texas. Monica didn't explicitly turn Amelia down in Grey's Anatomy and she never got the chance to say yes or no as Winston interrupted with news about a patient. With Amelia focusing on her Alzheimer's research with Meredith in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9 the potential new couple didn't get the chance to interact. As aforementioned Monica hooked up with Winston at the end of Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9. While Monica and Winston have teamed up on multiple cases in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 their chemistry never seemed to extend beyond colleagues who worked well together. Certainly Monica never expressed any romantic interest in Winston before their hookup or in other Grey's Anatomy male characters. She only seemed to have eyes for Amelia but things appear to have gone sideways between them after their awkward scene from the previous Grey's Anatomy episode. There is nothing wrong with Monica being interested in men in Grey's Anatomy. Monica provides important LGBTQ plus representation to the series that has been steadily growing with current characters Taryn Helm Mika Yasuda Amelia Teddy and now Jules Millen who came out in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9. However Helm is the only one of the six female LGBTQ plus characters in Grey's Anatomy who identifies as a lesbian. Bisexual representation is extremely important but so is lesbian representation. Monica doesn't have to be a lesbian in Grey's Anatomy but many were taken off guard by her sudden hookup with Winston when they had assumed she was a lesbian do. Ex-user Mickey even called Grey's Anatomy sick and twisted for the multiple reveals from season 20 episode 9. Monica also would have been the first lesbian Latina character on Grey's Anatomy as former character Callie Torres also identified as bisexual. Callie Torres became one of the most important characters in Grey's Anatomy but why did she leave after season 12? Here's what happened. Grey's Anatomy season 20 episode 9 also saw Winston finally sign his and Maggie's divorce papers. Maggie's surprising return in Grey's Anatomy season 20 served as a reminder of just how messy Winston's romantic storylines have been since he was introduced to the series at the end of season 17. It also showed how much Winston's storylines have revolved around romance and his romantic interests. Even with Maggie's send-off in Grey's Anatomy Season 19 much of Winston's storylines have focused on her and their marriage falling apart. Maggie treated Winston poorly in the previous season but he still fought to save their marriage. Additionally Winston's character has always been somewhat of an extension of Maggie's in Grey's Anatomy leaving him directionless with her gone. 
Even when Maggie returned in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9 Winston's professional accomplishments were tied to hers. He will always be known as Maggie's former student and ex-husband even though he's now chief of cardiothoracic surgery. By having Winston hook up with Monica at the end of the episode his romantic life gets messy and his character continues to be reduced to his relationships. The two major characters leaving in Grey's Anatomy Season 21 are Levi Schmidt a gay man and Mika Yasuda a queer woman. Schmidt is currently the only gay male character on Grey's Anatomy and Yasuda is the only Asian LGBTQ plus character as well as the show's first female Asian LGBTQ plus character. Their pending exits mean an important loss of LGBTQ plus representation in Grey's Anatomy. This could worsen with Teddy's potential exit as she was fired from her job as Chief of Surgery in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9. Grey's Anatomy Season 20 has a Meredith Grey problem, since Ellen Pompeo cut down on her screen time the show has struggled to find a new center. Though Monica being with Winston doesn't erase her LGBTQ plus identity there was only one main same-sex couple in Grey's Anatomy Season 20. With Yasuda leaving next season and breaking up with Helm in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9 there are now zero LBTQ plus relationships in the medical drama. If Monica's hookup with Winston means she and Amelia never officially get together it would mean another missed opportunity for an LGBTQ plus relationship in Grey's Anatomy. Ex-user Tom referred to Helm and Yasuda's Grey's Anatomy breakup as disappointing. After all this was Helm's first relationship on the show. When she was first introduced her sexuality was somewhat the butt of a long-running joke with one of her only character traits being her obsessive crush on Meredith a straight woman. Helm has come a long way but for many this breakup feels like a step backward. The good news is Monica and Winston's hookup doesn't mean they can't get together in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 or 21. The Grey's Anatomy Season 20 finale is shaping up to be one of its most dramatic yet. The Grey's Anatomy Season 20 finale is a major crossover with Station 19 which is having its series finale. With a previous cliffhanger ending Theo could die in the Station 19 series finale but not without the Grey Sloan doctors fighting to save his life first. Joe's collapse Lucas potentially leaving and Meredith and Amelia's secret research will also be major storylines. Though this is thrilling it unfortunately means Monica and Amelia's feelings for each other and her hookup with Winston could go unaddressed until Grey's Anatomy Season 21. This is problematic because Winston is Amelia's former brother-in-law and they have started to bond over missing Maggie. Amelia has suffered many losses and betrayals throughout her time on private practice and Grey's Anatomy. Amelia will understandably see Monica and Winston's hookup as an ultimate betrayal. Ex-user Thea even predicted Amelia would react similarly to how Maddie did in Euphoria when she found out about Cassie and Nate's relationship. This is the last thing Amelia needs right now. If Monica and Winston had to move on from their impending divorces through drunken hookups they could have hooked up with other people. Monica and Amelia started Grey's Anatomy Season 20 as frenemies and Amelia finding out about the hookup could bring them back to where they started. Drinks at Emerald City Bar have led to many hookups in the show's long history and they don't all end in a relationship like Meredith and Derek in Grey's Anatomy Season 1. Monica and Winston's hookup in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 should be a one-time thing. It would make sense given they had briefly bonded over their divorces and hadn't expressed any prior romantic interest in each other. However Meredith's voiceover during their hookup at the end of Grey's Anatomy Season 20 Episode 9 could suggest otherwise. Meredith said one small misstep becomes one small habit which could mean this isn't the last time Monica and Winston hook up. If so Grey's Anatomy could be repeating an old Callie and Arizona storyline where Callie became sex buddies with Mark while they were on a break. This also led to an unexpected pregnancy. Amelia and Monica were never officially together in Grey's Anatomy but Monica and Winston lacked the friendship and history Mark and Callie had making this a poor potential storyline. Episode Title Release Date